So yesterday, Mass, we met the number block number nine, didn't we? And there was something that number nine and number four had in common. Something similar about them. Can you remember what it was? Should you have a look? So here we've got number block number four and number block number nine. At the moment, it doesn't look like there's anything in common to me because look how small number four is compared to number nine. I wonder how many blocks bigger number nine is compared to number four. Do you reckon you could guess? Have a have an estimate? One, two, three, four, five. Number block nine is five more blocks taller than number four. I can prove that by getting number five, sticking him on top. Can you see that? But there was something similar, wasn't there? That four, we all know what four loves to do. What's his favourite thing? He loves squares. Let's turn number four into a square. So here he is. Now, what is a square? Can you remember we talked about the shapes? I'm going to put them into these four cubes. Now, if I put him down here, and then that one next to it, and then this one underneath, and then this one underneath, Number four makes a square because if you go that way and you go that way, we've got the same length. We've got the same number of blocks. A bit like when we were talking about the shapes the other day. How many blocks along is number four? One, two. How many blocks down is he? One, two. So he is a square number. That's something you'll learn in a few years time, but it might be something you can remember in your head. He's called a square number because you can make a square out of his number of blocks. Now number nine is a bigger square. Can you remember how many blocks along and up number nine has? Do you know? Let's get number nine. Split number nine up. And then number nine looks, in fact, he's in different colours to help us. We can put him in a square like this. Now, can you see with number nine? How many down have we got? And how many across? Look, there's three across and three down. So he's a square because he's got three, 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 three. This one's a square because we've got two, two, and two, two. Now the other number blocks so far, some of them aren't square. So if we look at number five, we can see why. Let's put number five into the cubes and let's try let's do what number four is so let's go two 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 and then up oh. got this odd one here haven't we right it'd be three by two three by two oh that doesn't work does it what if we did it in rows of three does that work one two three one no so can you see why this one isn't a square number? Because you can't have the same number going along and also going up. Now, there is, I don't know if you can think carefully, there is a number block that is smaller than number nine and smaller than number four that actually is already a square. Can you think? Shall I go and get the other number blocks and you have a look and think, which one of those is also a square? There they are. I've put number five over here because we know number five isn't a square. Now just look at them. There's one that actually is already a square. You know? It is, look, number one, because he's one block that way and one block that way. So he's actually, 
and then a square as well. Can you see that? A square one by one, a square two by two, and a square three by three. So your first challenge, I'd quite like you to see if you can explore, look, I've got loads of milk bottle tops here, to see if, first of all, you can make the square numbers. So if you've got objects that are exactly the same, can you make a square with four and talk about how many that way and how many this way? But also, can you have a go at going, let's try number block number two and seeing why they're not square. Why is number six not a square number? Do you think you could do that for me? Why am I not a square number? Also, do you think you might be able to find out what would the next square number be? Because this one is one by one. Now listen, there's a pattern. This one is two by two. This one is three by three. So do you think you know which square number would go here? If you do, take a photo and put it on tapestry for me, just so I can see who had a go at the extra extra super maths challenge. I won't tell you the answer, I just want to see who can do it. Good luck. Once you've explored the numbers, and you've had a look at square numbers, let's have a look at the 2D shape that's a square. And just like where it said in number blocks how number four was the same that way, and the same that way, and number nine, this is a square, and we talked about this the other day, a regular rectangle, because when you measure it, it's exactly the same length side here, five centimetres, and it is here, five centimetres. Now, if you've got a ruler at home, you could have a go at seeing if you can find some squares around your house and measuring them for me to make sure they're definitely square. Here's one I found, I've got some post-it notes here. Now, can you see, looks like a square, doesn't it? And when I measure it, I've got, put it on the zero, make sure it's lined up nicely. It gets to seven and then the line halfway between seven and eight. So mine is seven and a half centimetres that way. And if I turn it round, it's seven and a half centimetres that way. So these post-it notes are a square. Good luck, shape hunters.